Hey there, Shauna from Skip Blast here. Just wanted to do a quick video comparing some of the top Amazon affiliate plugins as I recently did some testing of my own uh, between the AAWP plugin, Affiliate Table, and Lasso. Uh, so I have some fresh data in terms of which of these gave me the biggest boost in conversions and revenue. All right, let's get started. Okay, just a little background first. Um, I was using the AAWP plugin. I've actually been using it since 2017. I've been using it across all of my sites in my portfolio. Um, at the time, I had bought a, a license that was for unlimited sites. Uh, then this past December, uh, December of 2022, I was having trouble adding new sites to my account. So I reached out to their support. They tried to kind of gaslight me and tell me that I only had a license for 10 sites. Um, of course, I wasn't going to accept that answer. Um, finally, they agreed that I did have a license for unlimited sites. And then three hours later, I got an email telling me that my license subscription had been canceled. Um, so that kind of, you know, made me a little mad. Um, so ever since then, I've been basically looking to see, like, what's my best option other than AAWP? Or is AAWP the best in terms of conversion, right? Um, so what I narrowed it down to was the, the Lasso plugin and the Affiliate Table plugin. So that's what I was testing against AAWP across my sites. And just for a frame of reference, I wanted to show you what the last full month, um, basically of me using the AAWP plugin actually looked like. Um, that was December. Now, I know that this data isn't exactly clean since we have so many more people who were actually doing shopping in December, but I was going through the months before that and stuff, and there actually isn't a lot of variation in terms of the number of clicks and the conversion rate. So I feel like even though this was from December, it's still pretty decent in terms of using it to compare, you know, how, you know, AAWP performs compared to these other plugins. So after basically looking at all the plugins, I decided to go with Affiliate Table, uh, primarily because I can get it for a one-time fee on AppSumo. That deal is actually still going on at the time of me recording this. Um, and the fee that I paid was because I had bought five codes so that I could maximize, you know, using it across 15 sites and what they call posts, 750 of those. Um, I did come to learn, though, that they don't really mean post when they say post here. Uh, what they mean by post is actually the number of the short codes that you actually use. So to give you an example here, if I have a buying guide where, you know, like I have a little table at the top and then I have 10 individual product reviews below that and then a single product box for each of those. So that means I would have 11 different short codes from affiliate table on that single post. Well, that would count as 11 posts, even though they're all on that single post. So with that in mind, you know, and as many sites as I actually have, there was no way that this 750 post limit was going to work for me. So I did find out, though, that once you bought those five codes, then you could contact their support, uh, basically request to be upgraded to an unlimited account. Then you would make an additional one-time fee and you would have an unlimited account. Now, I did consider doing this for a little bit, but then I was like, you know what? I just had this problem with another vendor who didn't want to honor one of these unlimited licenses. So, you know, I decided that wasn't really the ideal situation for me. Also, just after using this plugin for about a month, I noticed the interface was like super clunky. Um, they do everything on the cloud, so you don't actually have the data housed you know, like in your database for your site. So every time you make a new, you know, product box or something or a table, or even if you just are updating one, you have to do that on the affiliate table website. Then you have to remember to click sync all so that you can sync it to your website. Otherwise the changes don't get pushed through. And so like that was really kind of like a bottleneck for me because most of the time I would actually forget I needed to sync it and I would basically publish my post and be like, what is going on here? Um, so I didn't really like that aspect of it. Um, but I was most concerned, of course, about the data after using this plugin. The end result here, clicks did go up. Conversions went down, though. Overall, revenue only went up $1.46. And, you know, here's a screenshot from my Amazon account where you can see that data. This was for January. You can see the clicks went up quite a bit. Um, that resulted in the conversion rate dropping substantially. Um, overall, though, it just didn't make me enough extra money to justify the cost, I don't think. Um, 
you know, basically just compared to AWP, it was definitely not a winner for me, especially with how clunky it was to use, you know. And also just a quick sidebar here, the screenshots that I'm showing you from Amazon, um, they are for one of my accounts where I only have a single site on it. So even though that says tracking ID all, it's only for one site. Next up, I started testing Lasso. Now I had initially not wanted to use this plugin because you know it, it has a monthly recurring fee, so it's not basically as cheap as other options. Um, and I just, you know, I have so many sites that, you know, do have affiliate posts that I didn't know if this would be a good buy for me or not. Um, but I was able to test it for free for a month. Um, and what I discovered was that you can actually import, you know, into Lasso for most of the Amazon plugins that are out there. So you can import most things from AWP. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot from affiliate table, which was rather unfortunate for me. Um, but another thing that was really interesting about this plugin for me this has a lot of really great bonus features in it. Um, you know, it does event tracking. Um, so basically you can see like where on the page someone is clicking on your lasso link. Um, it also shows you what exact product it is that they're clicking on. And that's really great because it lets you know like, okay, this really resonates with my audience. So I should do more of, you know, this type of product. Or if something is getting a lot of clicks, but you don't have it at the top of your table, you know, then that's a sign for you to move that up. And, and you don't get that kind of data from these other plugins. Another thing that's really cool about this plugin is it has a, a tab within your dashboard there where it shows you other affiliate program opportunities that you're not actually using. Um, and that's nice because you can add those links in as kind of like a secondary option, you know, for the people who aren't necessarily going to buy from Amazon. So that's a nice feature to have. Um, it also shows you if any of your affiliate links are broken or if the products are out of stock. Now I actually use genius links across my sites and it also shows you, you know, when things are out of stock or broken, but I don't find that it's very easy to use on genius links and it is super easy to use that feature on Lasso. Actually in general, I found Lasso super easy to use, um, especially compared to affiliate table. Um, in terms of compared to AWP, it was pretty similar in terms of ease of use, though I would say Lasso was just slightly easier to use than AWP. Um, but really at the end of the day, all I cared about was the data here. You know, how did the clicks and conversions do? Am I making more money? And not only that, am I making enough money by, you know, when I'm paying this monthly fee? Like, is the increase enough to justify it, right? So what happened after using this plugin is I noticed that clicks were up conversions up and revenue is up. So here is the current data for the last two weeks of this month. Um, for this, this is the same site that I've shown you in the other screenshots. Uh, it looks like clicks are up for the month. Conversion rate is actually looking really great for the month. And I can already tell based on how much the site has earned this month that it's going to earn more. And it's going to be more of an increase than that dollar and 46 cents that I saw before. Um, now I'm saying this across every site that I have moved from AWP to Lasso. I'm actually now paying for the 10 site plan on Lasso um, because I'm trying to focus on only putting my sites on it where they already earn enough money to justify that monthly expense for the site. Um, you know, and even though I can already tell I'm gonna make more money per site using this, it needs to already be earning enough for me to justify that cost, right? If you're not really familiar with the differences between Affiliate Table and Lasso, I just want to show you real quick on their sites, the demos that they have, just to kind of give you a brief idea of like how different they look. Um, so here's what a typical uh, comparison table looks like with Affiliate Table. Um, this exact design actually is does not seem to be available with Lasso, um, which is kind of unfortunate because I do like this type of design, um, but that's really one of the only downsides I can find in the display differences. Um, here's just another variation of that with the filter table. I actually use something very similar to this on some of my sites, just using custom CSS and HTML. Um, so it can be done that way as well. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the top three product box is something that I use quite a lot on my sites. Um, if you have a free account with affiliate table, it's going to look something like this, which honestly I think isn't that great. Um, it looks a little dated, uh, quite honestly. And even once you're paying, it still kind of looks a little dated. Um, this one especially, like, I'm not really a fan of this at all. Um, and then the other thing that I use quite a lot is the single product box. Pull that up here. 
Uh, and here's what the free version of that, uh, this plugin looks like for you if you're just doing a single product. Uh, you can do other things with the paid option, but honestly, again, I think it's not that great. Uh, that you'll see that this particular one right here looks a lot like what Lasso offers. Um, but still, Lasso looks just a little better. Uh, I think this one looks kind of too busy, right? So I'm not a fan of that. Uh, now let's look at Lasso. So if you're going to use Lasso, this is just like the basic single product display. Uh, it's not normally quite as large as this, at least on mine. Uh, and you don't have to include those pros and cons part, that part of this particular single product box. Um, I do wish that you could put the pros and cons on the other side. I suspect that you probably can. Uh, the support team there is really great, actually. They'll give you like free CSS and stuff if you need to make some tweaks. So I could probably ask for that if I really wanted it. Uh, let's see. They also do these tables. I really like that you can put the banner at the top. Um, I use this particular type of table a lot on my sites. Um, let's see what else we got here. This is another type of style of table that they do, kind of. Um, it's okay. I'm, like, I'm not a huge fan of this one. And this is the closest thing that Lasso offers to the list that I really love that Affiliate Table offers. Um, as you can see, it has plenty of room there for like a little description about whatever the product is. I do really like that it's numbered on the side. Uh, and if I recall correctly, you can put banners here, but I'm not 100% certain on that. Um, but yeah, I think you'll find that overall, this one looks just a little better than Affiliate Table. Um, and I mean, my tests don't lie, it does convert better. So yeah, like I said, at the end of the day, for me in my testing, I found that across the board, Lasso was the winner here. Um, it was the easiest to use. Uh, I saw the best increase in conversions and revenue from using it. Um, it had those extra features that I think once I start using them more and more, that will result in even more revenue for the sites. Um, but again, the downside here of Lasso is that it is a monthly fee instead of that one-time payment. Of course, by it being a monthly fee, that may actually prevent me from having you know, a similar problem as I've had with AAWP. Um, I also asked a lot of questions about Lasso before I signed up for it, you know, because I wanted to know like what happens, let's say if I stop using it, do I lose all my links? With Affiliate Table, the answer was yes. With Lasso, the answer was no. Uh, the next question that I had for Lasso was, you know, I sell all of my sites, like I'm always flipping sites. You know, what happens to the lasso stuff that I have when I sell my site to someone else? Now, the cool thing about lasso, for those of you who are flipping sites, is that they make it super easy for the new owner of your site, you know, to set up an account with them and move everything over so the new owner's not losing, you know, any of the tables or anything that you set up. That's not exactly true, of course, with affiliate table. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're also looking to move beyond AWP. Um, overall, for me, and I think for most people, Lasso is going to be the best option for you. And for me, you know, I'm just really excited to see how much more, you know, each of my sites are going to make per month, you know, now that I'm starting to add this to more and more sites. Um, so the actually the monthly update that I'm doing with some of my Ezoic sites, um, I've actually put Lasso on a couple of those sites just recently. So you'll be able to see, you know, from month to month how that revenue tends to increase for me if you, you know, subscribe to the channel here and watch for those updates.